Hi everyone, this is a small video to show you uh, the possibilities of the Fantasy Skins for Genesis 8. It will be very short, uh, it's quite easy to use and you'll see you can achieve a lot of different results. Uh, this is uh, Victoria 8 and we are using the uh, basis lighting of the studio. I just add a small emissive prop behind her to have this rim light. Uh, as you can see, some of the presets have already been applied and we are going to see how to achieve this. So, we are going to go back to Victoria 8 and apply the default skin. So we are back to the default skin. I like blue eyes better. Uh, the fantasy skins for Genesis 8 can be used with makeup and also it can be used with tattoos. We're going to see that. It's best if you apply the makeup first. You'll see why. So let's choose this one. Yeah, she already looks good. Let's see what we can do. So, you go on the fantasy skins for Genesis 8 and you will see there is a lot of folders and we are going to use the presets with SSS because it looks really good. So, let's see something quite subtle. You have a lot of different colors. So you can be really clear and subtle, like an uh, undead, a vampire, or something like that. And you can also have a really strong color, like this purple. Or you can go even black if you want. This is the one I used for the first image you saw. Uh, black it in is interesting, you're going to see why. When you have a makeup applied and you decided to apply a dark skin, you will see that the makeup doesn't fit in, it doesn't blend very well. So we made this patch and all you have to do is to apply it. We decided to make a patch for it because sometimes it can be useful to keep the makeup not blended, especially if you still want to have white colors like you can see here. So let's try to use some other colors and see what we can achieve. Uh, let's use this one and see where it goes. So the first th thing you can see is that it still has this red translucency. We can change it from here. See, you have several color and you can reduce it and boost it. Let's try some blue and see how it goes. All the results you will have will all depend on the characters used and it will also depend on the light. This is why I put a, an emissive light on the back. You can go also yellow maybe. It's more subtle, I like it like that. Um, we also included a gloss booster. I always think that Victoria 8 is too dry, so you can change that here. You can boost it or reduce it. Okay, I like it better. So when you have applied your skin, 
you can also apply some top effects. Once again, you have several colors and several intensities. You can also reduce, boost, or remove it. Let's try some red on a pink. Well, maybe this one is a bit too pink. Some combination will work really, really well together and some others might not be... Well, it depends on your taste. So let's see how it, go, how it looks from here. As you can see, the top coat will mostly react on the light. You have top coat effect, all the colors you want, and you also have some flex effect, big ones or small ones. We decided to put some pink here on this green skin, so I will try to maybe add another color and see how it goes. Let's try this one. It's not enough different for you to just see it. Well, we have pink and red, maybe green. Well, you can also remove it and you can also remove this one and you can change again the color. Let's try some orange. Now, you will see if you decide to change the makeup you will have to reapply it let's see we're gonna use this one and you will see what happens see the head is back to its original color so all you have to do is go back here apply the same orange. What else do you have? You have some nails options. You have the transfer shader for genitalia the makeup patch yeah this is interesting also uh, if you use a very dark color like let's say a black you will see that the eyebrows don't blend so you can go on the eyebrow helper and choose that color and once again if you see if you think that this red is too red you go back to the makeup patch and you apply the makeup patch and now it blends you also have eye socket for changing the color of the eye socket and you also have eyes helper if you want to let's say change a bit the color of the eyes so let's go back to the flag effects We are quite close from what we did earlier. You can mix and have 
nice results. Uh, the top coat effect and the flex effect are also nice because you can use them alone. Let me show you. Once again we apply all Victoria 8 maps. So she goes back to normal. And if you do this, let's see what happens. Now you see what it makes. If you apply it everywhere and if you get lost, you can always reset it. So it works on females and it also works on males. And I told you it works with tattoos, so let's take a look at that. Here we have a male character, Genesis 8, uh, with hair and with tattoos. Let's change a bit the lighting so we see it better. Okay, as you can see, it has tattoos everywhere. And we are going to put in blue. And I'm not sure I did the right thing. I need to select him and put in blue. As you can see, tattoos stays and still look good. I think maybe it should be, I don't know. Oh, we have some special work quite nice here too. Still, the tattoos work very well. You can see the translucency color right here on the ears. And we are going to change it. So let's try green, green, and see how it goes. Well, this one is really green. We can also reduce it if it's too strong or oh, maybe we can try blue well if we make blue maybe we should use a, a blue color When you change the overall color, the translucency go back to its original color. Uh, it's starting to look nice. We can even add another top color, like this.
it's up to you. Uh, if I don't set it, it won't work. You can make nice aliens or fairies or for whatever you want. This one will make her glow if I can have it. Yeah, I really like this one. It's like she's made of clay or something. And let's try some radish. Well, that's it for me. If you have more questions or if you don't know, you can take a look at the readme file, which is here. And you can also ask questions on the DAS forums and we will try to see them and <laughs> we will try to answer them. Well, thank you for your time and have a nice day.